Okay, today is total, uh, April 12, 2016. This video is for advanced, uh, advanced users. You have to disable secure boot before first, then you will have to remove your hard drive. <coughs> How to safely download, verify, and install Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition to a 16 plus pen drive? Where fee, no security boot with no encryption. Uh, before I start, I'm gonna make some changes here. I'm, I'm gonna make some changes because right now it's just too crowded in my desktop, so I want to make some changes before I start to to download and do all, all the stuff.
64 gigabyte pen drive, uh, but 16 plus gigabyte pen drive works just fine. Was USB 2.0, uh, the bag will buy from Kingston or from Sandisk.
That's it. Where is the room? Okay, you use deep partner to do uh, what kind of, uh, if you have more than one pen drive connected to your computer, it's easy to, to know exactly which one it is. So I'm going to open deep partner. First I'm going to make some shortcut of the apps here.
Porque ele tenta lá e vamos ver o humor. Os dois estão lá e. Eu não me conecto ainda, então eu conecto after. Eu vou estar before eu vou estar a instalação. Now I'm gonna connect the pendrive. Right now I only show one pendrive. This is the one you see here with my mouse is. I'm gonna connect. I'm gonna connect uh, the pendrive I'm gonna use for installation. I use the name X, right? But anyway, if you wanna know uh, Go to G part here, click refresh, and we're gonna be uh, SDB. So you write down on your, on your notebook, and we're going to the style on my style of SDB on the pen drive SD, SDB. So I'm not get confused when I'm going to do the installation. So I'm ready to install now. So I'm going to do, I'm going to click install Linux Mint. I'm going to do screenshots and install at the same time. You got to pay attention to the name, the, the, the letter for the, for the pen drive. So you can format the wrong pen drive. I'm going to do a screenshot of the installation. Disconnect the internet. Ah, oh, oh, before I do the installation, I have to show you how to download the file first. I forgot about that. I have it downloaded already and check it, but I'm going to show you how you do that. So, first of all, I'm going to open the next uh, uh, Firefox. Okay, first of all, you need to install uh, uh, add-on. I, I made a video on how to install add-ons on Firefox. So, I'm going to teach you how to do that in this video. I'm just going to install two add-ons. Three of them, three of them, three of them. What do I have? The other block close.
first and most quick. Don't let me know this world when you start. And uh, yeah, there's four of them. It's called an ATVPS everywhere. ATPS everywhere. The first one on the list. Look at here. here. My desktop is becoming cloudy. There's a feature in uh, the cinnamon called uh, Hot Corners show sure, all, all the workspaces that means the desktop should go like there show sure, all the little windows and you can move it around like the screen corner I want to leave it right here the music I want to leave right in the bottom right in the on the work piece number three. Now we go back to it. Now so all windows is going to be on the right side in the top. See the right side? Show all windows. You go like there. And show all show all the open windows. The very nice feature.
Now we wear it till the wood. We will download the Linux Mint Film Edition No Codecs. We do it at down here, I just select a low Linux Mint. Click on the home page here. Click on Cinema Edition <coughs> Then scroll down Then take a screenshot of the system specs So we're going to scroll down I'm going to take another screenshot You're going to click here, no codex images. Okay, so this way, this way, the, the one that we're going to download. No codex. So cinema no codex 64 bit. Now we're gonna cut this information here. You want to go test that editor? I already have, I already have verified the, the user, but I'm going to do it again, so to copy the, the information here, the MD5, Take a screenshot. Okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna do bump them out, check the, the MD5 for you. We're gonna show you how to do that with, with uh, bump them all, the down from Firefox, and then we're gonna check from the command line on the terminal. So you copy this, then we go to download. I like to download Realnet. Click it down the more. Select where you want to save it. I already have it in here. This is what I do for you to for, for, for you guys to know. I'm gonna create a folder here for download. Actually, I'm just gonna save this over here. I'm gonna be on my pen drive to to get uh, more of it. And then you select MD5. Paste the, the, the MD5 hash. And click start. When you finish the load, it will tell you if it's bad. If you don't say nothing, it goes good. But we're gonna check it. I'm gonna show you how to check it. I'm gonna show you how to check it now. I haven't saved the load in my on my uh, on my computer here. Okay, so I'm going to leave this page open and I'm going to compare this here. The way you're going to do it, if you use your Linux with cinnamon edition, you just have to do is go to, uh, to the full, to the I save in my pen drive here, the total uh, megabyte, uh, gigabyte, and uh, I have it right here. So what you have to do is right click and check MD5 
Okay, I got those ropes. As you can see, the doors match. I'm gonna take a screenshot. Now I'm gonna do uh, through the terminal. Through the terminal, what you have to do. First of all, you will open uh, the, the, the test, test editor and you are going to add the, the MD5 sun I'm going to remove this here You type MD5 sun space Then you go to where you save the, 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 the ISO, the file Click rename Copy, select everything, select everything, then copy, then you're going to paste here, click save, now you're going to go back one folder, and then you're going to right click that folder, <coughs> and click open in terminal. As you can see, you don't have to type media, mint, well, 32, new 2016, blah, blah, blah. have to do now is copy, copy, and paste, and click enter. Okay, I got the results. I'm going to take another screenshot As you can see, it did match
I'm the only one that has all. I'm Com o Speed Dial FVD This is, uh, this is the best Speed Dial Works in multiple platform Right to Firefox These are gone. It's right here. I'm gonna click it. I already have uh, save a backup, so I need to go to my bookmark. When <coughs> I we'll get to my bookmark, you we'll, we'll have to just click on the. They do this icon here. I just want to put my backup here. I want to import my backup. My pen drive. Just click open. Just click OK if you do have one. Okay, now the insert has been successfully imported. Click OK. We're going to exit here. Now, <coughs> I got all my bookmarks here. All my bookmarks here. I'm going to click on my tools.
Okay, to check the MD5, I like to use the website here. It's called, uh, we're gonna be using the latest Firefox or Chrome, Chromium or Google Chrome. It's called ATML ML5 for a hash or a calculator. It's very simple to use. First of all, I'm just going to check the MD5 here, so you won't check the other ones. I'm just going to check the MD5. Click Browse here, or you can drop the file here. I could just drop the file here. Just drop the file with the user. As you can see, it's checking the 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 MD5.
installation. Now close Firefox. Connect my internet connection. Okay, now I'm ready to start. Don't forget to go write it down. If you use more than one pen drive, you need to know what pen drive, what level. What level is the pen drive? Mine is SDB. SDB. So the letter B. So I just have to do is click install it at me. You just connect from the internet when you do that. It's faster to install. It's better if you do it like that. I've been taking screenshots while I'm doing installation. You will select your language. Like I said to you, to, to do a quick installation, don't use the inter internet, do it afterward. My drive SDB, which is the X here, you see. So you have to be uh, unmounted in order to do the definition. So let's click yes. Let me take a screenshot. Click yes. Okay. If you want to do encryption, it's very easy to do. Just select the the, first, the second option. I'm not going to do encryption because encryption is paying me yes. Every time you boot your pen drive, you're going to uh, enter the, 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 the key. So as a pen me yes, uh, I suggest not to use it. You, you click on something else. Or you can 
select the first option. I like to, to do manually so you can learn how to do it. Okay, like I said before, I have two pen drives on my computer. One is called SDA, which is the 32 gigabytes, is where I'm uh, saving the, the video. I'm recording this video, we save it to the, that pen drive. It's on the SDA, a partition only one partition has. It's called SDA1 and my second my second pen drive is called SVB which is is on a, is on a, only has one partition and on the bottom here it says dev SDA I'm not gonna use SDA I'm gonna use SVB so you're gonna make sure you change it to to the drive that you're gonna use so it's going to be SDB. It's a 64 gigabyte pen drive from, from SanDisk. That's the reason why when you buy a pen drive, buy it from a, a name brand. Because I don't know if you can see when it's a brand, they, they have the name of it there, so it makes it easier. So, what, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to delete this partition. And I'm going to take a screenshot first. So I'm going to delete the partition. So SVP, that's the pen drive I'm working with. You use the minus sign here to delete it. Now you have a SDB free space. You click on the plus sign. First, I'm going to take a screenshot. So now you select SDB free space. You select free space. And then you press the plus sign. So we need three partitions. One is called EFE. If, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. E EFE. So you only need one megabyte, 100 megabytes. There's only 100 megabytes that you need for that partition. This is going to be the primary partition. It's called EC Blue Partition. I don't know if you pronounce it right, but <coughs> that's the partition you need to use. I'm going to take a screenshot. Click OK. Now you see that the it's called AC partition. Now we're going to create another partition, you, you click on the plus sign, then you, you, you want 60,000. 60, 
So I just want to move the thing here. Well, I pay my partition and we want to the more point. I'm going to take a screenshot again. Click OK. So the first partition is called SDB1. The second partition SDB2. Since we're using uh, GPT, we can have more, have more than 100 partitions on the pen drive. Or a hard drive. Or SD card. Now to select the free space, click on the plus sign again, and we're going to use the primary, and we're going to put on the end of this space, and we're going to select swap area. We're going to take another screenshot. I'm going to click OK. As you can see, I have three partitions. SDB1, SDB2, SDB3. That's what we need now. I'm going to take another screenshot. Okay, now you just have to do is click install now. You say here you, you create a uh, three partition. Click continue. You see here that the rules are all data. We're going to format the pen drive, blah, 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 blah. That's it. Click continue. Now you select what country you're from.
select the world language you speak. Now you're going to select the username, you give a name to your computer, you pick a username, you choose a password, uh, choose a strong password. Uh, I, don't I don't quit my home first, I, I, I save my stuff on, on pen drives and uh, I use only the monitoring uh, system like on pen drive. So my file will save uh, on external devices. So I see no need to encrypt your home folder. But if you do want to encrypt, you gotta get the key. So in case you need to log into, you need to connect your to that folder. You need to have the the, 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 the key to access. That. Like I said. Encryption is depending on yes, you gotta be careful there, especially if you save files there and uh, if you forget your password, it's going to be hard to access to it. Now I'm just going to cut some files and do the installation. Usually, usually installation takes less than 10 minutes. I think uh, I never pay attention to the time, but between 7 7 to 10 minutes. For a USB drive is faster. From DVD round is slower. You can see <coughs> the installation is completed. Uh, installation has finished. You can continue the assignment me now, but until you restart the computer, any changes you make or document you save will not be preserved. I don't, I don't want to restart now because I want to upload the screenshots that I made with, of this video to my Google Photos account. So I'm going to click continue testing.
I'm going to do now, I'm going to, uh, the video is, is finished, but I want to teach people about the, the tools that uh, Google gives for free. Uh, Google gives unlimited uh, image and video storage to Google Photos. And I'm going to show you how I, how I use Google Photos. I, I have a, a backup of my stuff at home. I also I make a backup of my stuff uh, online. It's very easy to use. Just sign on to create a Google Gmail account. And from there you can get the, the photos. Once you activate the, the, the email account, you go to the, you click on this on this here. You will see uh, the photos. You click on photos. Then uh, to get unlimited, you right, you click here. Go to settings. And then you select here, high quality, free unlimited storage. That's it. It has free unlimited video and any type of uh, image. Unlimited forever. I don't know if it's forever, but it's, it's unlimited. Huh? To upload my photos here, I'm going to do the same way I've done. I download this, this dial here called FVD Speed Dial FVD and then you create a dial I have like all the Google Google websites I have right here so I just have to do to the Google ecosystem. If I want to go to Google Plus, my account, or YouTube, Gmail, Google Play, Calendar, Google Drive, Google Photos, Translate, and the right sense, I can just for this bookmark here, I can go there. So I'm gonna close this up. I click there, so I go to Google Photos. You're gonna get direct to this page here. You just have to click on upload photos. Then you select the folder that has the, 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 the image. My next view, one of my views is gonna be how you can use a pen drive as a folders very nice this let me use this pen drive as a folder so i create a screenshot the video that i made today is called uh, how to safely download the file install linux mint so the people are transferring my vision to pen drive I think I saved, oh, no, I saved it here. So, click, you control A to select everything, and then click open. And on the bottom here, it's going to show the uploading. In the meantime, I'm going to I'm going to copy the name of the folder.
tell you who was this for me.
Two sets of this, please. I copy this game. I like to have the date on my
to do a uh, do a photo of the full screen. You have to press F11, but uh, well, I have the on my video description. I will have this information here, and you can see in full screen. See you to the next video.